morning this class we are discussing another rearrangement or another reaction that is a heck reaction heck reaction what is heck reaction this is a reaction of a, an unsaturated halide reaction of unsaturated halide with an alkene in the presence of a base and a palladium catalyst will give a, a substituted alkene so what is heck reaction reaction of reaction of unsaturated halide halide with an alkene with an alkene in the presence of a base and palladium catalyst palladium zero catalyst to give substituted substituted alkene substituted alkene this is a very important reaction that is a heck reaction reaction of unsaturated halide with uh, an alkene in the presence of a base and a palladium zero catalyst to give substituted alkene so that means uh, this reaction is used for the preparation of a carbon carbon bond okay by heck reaction we can name we can make carbon carbon bond and hence uh, this heck reaction is very important so uh, what is heck reaction so unsaturated halide look at the reaction rx this is uh, unsaturated halide react with uh, alkene you can see that this is react with the uh, alkene here it is r dash okay in the presence of uh, pd0 pd0 palladium zero catalyst okay second one uh, base okay and uh, um, uh, what will eliminate minus hx hx will be eliminated and what we get uh, we get uh, that means uh, r is joining with uh, uh, this uh, double bonded part because and we get uh, r okay here it is uh, here it is uh, r dash that means uh, here yeah, one hydrogen is replaced and the r is coming that means you are getting substituted alkene substituted alkene r then single bond here it is a double bond only this is double bond okay uh, you can see that uh, there is a new carbon carbon bond is formed here it is carbon and uh, another carbon is from r that means uh, here it is a new carbon carbon bond is forming so by heck reaction we can make a substituted alkene substituted alkene or by heck reaction you can make a carbon carbon bond this is a very important reaction and uh, he, 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 look at here here the uh, catalyst palladium is very very important so let us go through the mechanism of the uh, heck reaction okay so once again repeating heck reaction okay then when uh, unsaturated halide that means uh, here you will get it here where r can be okay r can be aryl group aryl group that means uh, r is uh, okay like this okay aryl halide or it could be vinyl or it could be vinyl that means r is like this vinyl okay directly attached to double bonded carbon so, uh, so uh, sorry here it is uh, x okay uh, okay vinyl halide this is aryl halide r can be aryl group then you will get uh, aryl halide r can be vinyl group then you get a vinyl then or uh, alkenal alkenal halide that means uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, this group can be like this. Okay, here it is. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, pH and here it is also X. Okay, such a group can be R. Or, uh, one is uh, aryl group can be, uh, or uh, uh, R can be vinyl group. Then you get. Uh, okay, here it is a double bond. Double bond. Here it is R. Okay. Uh, it is like this or uh, alkenal group like uh, uh, here a uh, substitution with the ph okay yeah it is like this okay this group can be uh, the r group r is like this okay so it's very important r could be aryl group or r could be vinyl group or r could be alkenal group and uh, what is r dash r da oh, and uh, before that what is x x can be uh, our halogen that means a halide ion halide ion halide X is a chlorine bromine or iodine, it can go like that, or it could be triflate. Okay, triflate. Uh, triflate, it would be triflate. What do you mean by triflate? Triflate is uh, O SO2, O SO2, 
CF3, OSO2 uh, CF3. Uh, what is triplate? Uh, X could be uh, uh, halide ion. That means what is that, uh, this one? So RCl, RBr, uh, etc. Or uh, what is that? R O R O SO2 CF3 triplate. That group uh, also can be X. What is triplate? Uh, triplate trifluoromethane sulfonate. Trifluoromethane sulfonate. That is what is called uh, triplate. Okay, and uh, what is the structure of uh, if uh, X is replaced by uh, triplate, what will, how it will be? Okay, R, or it is O, SO2 means as double bond O, double bond O, what is that? Uh, CF3. Okay, that means uh, trifluoro, trifluoromethane sulfonate. Okay, that is what is called the triplate. So uh, that could be uh, X. And when you come to R dash, when you come to R dash, R dash can be. R dash can be here. I am writing R dash. R dash can be what is that? Uh, it could be alkyl group, alkyl group, okay, uh, or a normal alkyl group, or uh, it can be aryl group, aryl group, no problem, or it can be ester, okay, ester group, etc. Okay, ester, etc. That means uh, O, C double bond O, uh, okay, uh, C O, Mida, uh, okay, M, M, E, okay ester group etc. So keep it in mind R can be aryl, vinyl, aralkenyl and X can, X can be halide or uh, triflate and R dash can be alkyl, aryl or ester group. Okay. Now uh, uh, let us discuss more about uh, Heck reaction. So keep it in mind what is Heck reaction? Reaction of uh, unsaturated halide, unsaturated halide with alkyl in the presence of uh, base and palladium catalyst, we get uh, substituted alkene, substituted alkene. Okay, before we starting the mechanism, look at here. Uh, here I uh, mentioned that we need a palladium, palladium catalyst, palladium, palladium in the form of a PD0, in the form of a PD0. The usually uh, available or the Commonly found form of palladium is uh, palladium 2 plus that means uh, palladium is usually present in the form of uh, PDCl2, PDCl2, PDOA, palladium acetate etc. Okay, in this compound the palladium is in plus 2 oxidation state that means this is uh, PD2 okay, in here also PD2 because uh, plus 2 okay Cl2 minus 2 plus 2 and here also uh, palladium is in uh, PD uh, plus 2 oxidation state 2 oxidation state these are the commonly available that means uh, commonly occurring form of uh, palladium that is, this is very important uh, usually uh, uh, palladium is in the form of their uh, plus 2 oxidation state that means uh, palladium is present as uh, palladium chloride PdCl2 or palladium is present as uh, palladium acetate, PdOAC twice, etc. In all these compounds, palladium is in the uh, plus 2 oxidation state. So, the Heck reaction, we are starting the Heck reaction uh, by converting palladium 2 plus into 0. That is the, the reaction starting with the conversion of uh, uh, palladium 2 plus into palladium 0 because uh, we need in the Heck reaction we need uh, palladium 0 compound but, uh, because palladium 0 compound can undergo insertion reaction. There are many properties for uh, palladium catalyst. Palladium zero uh, can be undergo insertion reaction. That means uh, palladium zero can be inserted between carbon halogen bond. It, uh, palladium uh, catalyst can make uh, uh, can coordinate with uh, uh, pi bond or alkene and uh, palladium is uh, uh, non toxic. There are many advantages for. Uh, Palladium catalyst as well as palladium is used for making carbon-carbon bond. So palladium catalyst play, uh, playing a very important role uh, in Heck reaction. Okay, so uh, uh, I am coming back. So we need, keep it in mind, we need palladium in zero oxidation state. So the commonly available form of palladium is in its uh, plus two oxidation state. That means palladium is found uh, 
uh, in the form of uh, palladium chloride, palladium acetate, etc. So, first we have to convert this palladium chloride or palladium acetate uh, into palladium zero. So, I am taking palladium acetate, PDOAC twice. Here, palladium is in uh, uh, plus two oxidation state. When it is treated with uh, triphenyl phosphine, triphenyl that means PPH3 triphenyl phosphine this is very important this is the beginning step of a heck reaction conversion of palladium 2 here it is uh, uh, palladium is in plus 2 oxidation state palladium 2 into palladium 0 by the treatment of palladium 2 compound with uh, triphenyl phosphine we get uh, we can see that uh, uh, palladium okay here it is uh, pph3 and here also pph3 okay the this is what is this is called uh, bis uh, triphenyl triphenyl phenyl palladium uh, triphenyl palladium triphenyl uh, phosphine phosphine uh, palladium 2 uh, palladium pal sorry palladium 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 zero okay we are getting this compound that means palladium is attached to two triphenyl phosphine and in this compound palladium is in the zero oxidation state so this is a base triphenyl triphenyl phosphine palladium zero in this compound the palladium is in zero oxidation state what is the actual structure of this one so here it is pd and here it is p and triphenyl phosphine okay triphenyl phosphine means uh, 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 okay uh, here it is uh, 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 like this and here also so the, the, uh, this is pph3 this side also it will come the same thing okay so here it is ar okay i am writing ar ar like this okay so this is what is uh, in this compound uh, palladium is in zero oxidation state okay and uh, for simplicity i am writing uh, uh, this compound uh, this this can be written as uh, okay palladium pd zero these two are ligands triphenyl phosphine so we can write it as uh, l l so keep it in mind what is l l is uh, p ph3 okay so in the uh, uh, coming mechanism we are showing palladium zero compound uh, like this way pd zero l l l means ligands what is ligands uh, ligands are uh, uh, here the ligands are uh, uh, ligand is uh, triphenyl phosphine so l means uh, triphenyl phosphine that means uh, l means what is that p here it is a a yeah okay triphenyl uh, phosphine that is l okay uh, that means uh, uh, ligand so keep it in mind uh, uh, the heck reaction is starting with the conversion of palladium 2 compound into palladium 0 palladium 2 compound means palladium chloride or palladium acetate when treated with the triphenyl phosphine what is this one triphenyl triphenyl uh, phenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine okay triphenyl phosphine you get uh, a palladium compound with a zero oxidation state 